Hey everyone! Today I'm going to share three easy tips with you to help make life just a little bit more simple. Um, but before we get to that, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get started. Three tips to make life more simple. So I can't stand walking through the house and seeing kids' toys everywhere and a lot of clutter. It just stresses me out and makes me feel like everything in my life is unorganized and that I'm behind on everything. Um, and especially now that we're in a thousand square feet, there's just no room for clutter. So our journey of downsizing and decluttering continues. Uh, but this is not only for people who live in smaller spaces. That's why this is tip number one. Declutter your living space. It's so easy to become overwhelmed by this idea. Uh, when we hear the word declutter, it almost sounds daunting. It's because we relate decluttering to clearing out our whole homes and trying to make it appear more minimalistic. But that's far from the truth. Um, decluttering is defined as simply removing unnecessary items. This may seem like a large task, but it doesn't have to be when you're getting started. Just start small. Uh, and I can say from experience that the more you declutter and learn to live without certain things, the more you'll realize what is and is not necessary in your life. But when you first begin, just take it slow. Um, I have some friends who just took on the 30 day declutter challenge. It's a calendar of sorts and each day you have a different small task of decluttering that you're supposed to complete. And it's just small things such as cleaning out a junk drawer, um, cleaning one room, um, organizing different cabinet spaces, things like that. Uh, but the best part is that it only takes a few minutes a day and you'll feel so rejuvenated at the end of the day for that effort that you put in. Um, so I'll include a link to the calendar in the description below. So begin your simplification by starting to declutter your living space and see how that feels. Once you start going and feel the reward of it, I'm sure you'll just want to do more and more. And we'll talk about that more later on. So my second tip is simple in concept, but can often be really difficult in execution. Uh, tip two is create a budget. 95% of Americans say that their biggest stressor in life is finances. So for one month, I encourage you to try creating a budget and then do your absolute best to stick to it just for the one month. Budgeting is so important. Not only will you feel a weight off your shoulders because you know exactly where your money's going and you know your bills will be paid, but it's also important because financial discipline will carry over into other aspects of your life as well. And financial discipline is becoming more and more rare and I really owe it to my husband for helping me to learn how to do that. <laughs> but I think that when we plan out and control our spending, it enables us to just spend more wisely. So I'll include a link to a very simple budget sheet. Start with that and see where you are and be honest with yourself. Make sure you budget within your means. Being good stewards with our money helps us to be good stewards in other areas of our lives as well. And if we have the ability to eliminate the stress of finances in our lives, why wouldn't we do it? Let's all get to that point where we worry less about money and live more happy lives. So as we get further into our videos, we'll do more videos about stricter budgeting and what we do, and we'll just share more about our finances as well. My third tip for starting to live a more simple life is to live healthy. Um, people will often call it the mind-body connection. You've heard Dean talk about similar topics in other videos like behaviorism and positive psychology. Um, if you haven't, take a look at those. But the mind-body connection means that our thoughts, feelings, beliefs, attitudes can all positively or negatively affect our biological functioning. Simply put, our minds play a large role in the overall health of our bodies. And healthy bodies help us to feel better and function better in all areas of our lives. This means we should strive to eat healthier foods and try to exercise on somewhat of a regular basis, at least. Um, trust me, I get that life gets busy and some days it's hard to make to the gym, so when I'm having a full day, um, I just sometimes go in the backyard with the kids and chase them around for half an hour and believe me, it's a good workout. <laughs> so the point of this tip is to constantly remind ourselves that a happy life is not just a simple life, but it's also a healthy life. I hope you enjoyed this video about three easy steps to help make life more simple. And remember that the links to the 30 day declutter challenge and the beginner's budget sheet are in the description below. Let us know if you are doing any of them, we'd love to hear that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below. My question for you today is what drawer or cabinet or room in your house is overwhelming you at the thought of decluttering it? 
post your answers below. I'd love to hear. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are so grateful that you'd want to follow our journey to bliss. We'll see you in the next video.